So uh, everybody watching this video, I hope you have seen what the embryonic disc looks like. And you know that in the embryonic disc is actually, uh, uh, the embryonic disc actually looks bilamina, okay? So uh, yolk sac, bilamina germ layer, okay, that's basically what we're talking about. The embryonic disc, bilamina germ disc or embryonic disc, okay? So it looks bilamina, right? It has like two layers, right? One layer coming from the yolk sac and one coming from the amniotic cavity, all right? So how is how are these layers actually formed, right? So we have to discuss the formation of the bilamina embryonic disc, all right? So now, by day eight, that's after fertilization. That's the beginning of week two, okay? The embryoblast differentiates into two layers. Right, that's where we're talking about week of twos. I already made a video on week of twos, where several things are divided into two, 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 two. So by the eight after fertilization, the embryoblast differentiates into two layers. We have a distinct external layer of high columnar cells called the epiblast layer. Uh, while we have another distinct internal layer of small cuboidal cells, adjacent to the blastocyst. And this layer is called the hypoblast. Okay, the inner layer is a hypoblast. You see it. Inner layer is a hypoblast. Uh, external layer is the epiblast. Okay, but this hypoblast now you could see that it is related to the yolk sac, just like I said. Why the epiblast is actually related to the what amniotic cavity. Okay, so now cells of germ layer then form a flat disc, okay? And together, since they are from two germ layers, coming together to form a flat disc, okay? They are collectively called bilamina germ disc or embryonic disc, okay? Bilamina germ disc or embryonic disc, okay? That's basically, guys, that's uh, the formation of bilamina embryonic disc. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now.